1140. Steve left for work just a little bit ago and I was just, the vlog is now uploading and I'm just kind of getting myself around and going through my list of things to do for what I'm going to do with the rest of my evening. So what did I do notable today? I took a nap. That was really good. After um, we had lunch and stuff, I cozied up in my chair over there next to the fire, which was at the time going because it was cool at that point. Um, and I actually I went and got my little neck pillow that I took on the train with me because well I've been so comfortable and like my chair tilts in the way that makes my back and my hips the most comfortable It's been bothering my neck a little so my little neck pillow on and it was just perfect I took a little nap and it was great and then I woke up and I was all like invigorated and refreshed and that was good and I also woke up to the sun had started to go down and woke up from my nap and you could see the glow of our red lights from where I was sitting. And so that was, I love waking up to the glow of twinkly lights. It makes me so happy. And then our, um, like our art activity, I guess, the notable one that we did today, our Martin and Sylvia story talked about like hot chocolate. I was gonna make hot chocolate today, it didn't happen. I think we'll make some tomorrow. Um, but then our Junkyard Tales thing talked about somebody who, um, or like an animal who collected bells. And so we made this jingly bell wreath. So. This has a wreath form from the Dollar Tree in it. And then just my standard, what I call a wreath scarf. It is the thing that I work up to cover these particular wreath forms. And I had one that was made that had not been put on yet. So I put that on and then we took pipe cleaners and these are like half pipe cleaners. Let's see if I can tip it over. And the kids strung, I had a ton of bells. I had like this whole bag and a bunch of them had actually been like strung together to make like musical instrument kind of bells and we cut the strings on them because they were just like homemade versions um from my mommy's used to teach the preschool i'm thinking anyways i had this big bag of bells so they uh they went through and they strung them all on these little, like half pipe cleaners that i had and then i made the pipe cleaners fit around and now we have this lovely little wreath and then there was this uh this gigantic bell which is super loud and um so i just hung that one in the middle for for funsies and it's hanging above our our calendar and then I also I put I went and found a little pom-pom to give our snow person countdown a, a nosy because we bought that at the thrift store um, like our local thrift store I don't know three years ago maybe this is the first year we have actually like kept up with doing the countdown I recognize it's only the third but that's still a long time for us to actually keep up one of these things um and it, uh, we bought it off season and it was really, really cheap. Like, I think we may have paid $3 maybe for him. And he had a nose, but it was like hanging off and then it is now lost and gone. So I actually think that his little, his little orange pom-pom nose is cuter than what had been there, which had been like a, like a wooden piece, which just wasn't as cute. So did that, finished the cards. Steve is mailing those today. Speaking of mailing, I need to pack Etsy orders tonight from the weekend to go out tomorrow because tonight is Sunday night and I'm aware. So I need to do that. Made a little list of things I need to do. Notably, I would like to sit down and color and cross stitch again because that was really fun. So I was trying to decide if I should do some of the other things and use that as a reward or whether I should do those first because they're the thing I want to make sure I do. But I think I'm gonna do some of the other things first. And then maybe set like a time, like at two o'clock, I have to go and do my things, whether or not I'm done with the other things. I think that might be the plan. So it's like 1143-ish now. So if I go and I pack Etsy orders and I work on some stuff for the Etsy shop and whatever else, I don't even remember what else is on my list. And then at two o'clock, I will make sure that I go and sit down and color for like half an hour, 40 minutes, and then do about the same amount of cross stitch and then probably head to bed. That sounds like a good plan. We'll see if that plan happens. <laughs> I'm always really good with the the idea of a plan. It just doesn't always come to fruition as one would hope. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go and try and make responsible choices with my time. Try, trying is all we can do. I'll probably eat some cookies too. Cause that sounds like a responsible choice. Again, it's that time I'm headed to bed. I got enough of my work done and then sat down to do my fun things. So ooh, don't trip on the cat, that would be bad. Tonight's picture was this. It was a lovely, lovely sweater. Uh, yes, that was fun. It was funny though, um, 
I've had the problem several times with like these adult coloring book things that it doesn't really bother me that things are not symmetrical, but it is funny if I'm doing some sort of kind of symmetrical color scheme and I just know that there are a whole bunch of people freaking out because they're coloring it in and they're like, these don't match or whatever. And I just roll with it. But I recognize that some people don't roll with things the same way. And then I uh, finished out the dark gray on my cat. So I don't know what the next color is going to be. I think it's like a white or something. We'll see what I decide to pick up next time. But I stayed up entirely too late because I was so close to finishing that shade of gray. And I was like, I'm going to do that before I go to bed. And then, yeah, it just took longer than it probably should have. But whatever. Now I am uh, going to go to bed and I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.